All right, I want to show you how the day is going to shake out today. You're going to be at the bus stop this morning. It's going to be in the 50s for these kids, but watch as our temperatures grow through the course of the day. And you can only get this here in the morning with us. Uh, normal temperatures for this time of the year will be in the mid 80s. So we start off by getting to about 60 degrees at 8 a.m. into the 10 o'clock hour. We'll be in the lower 70s, and we take about a 10 degree jump into the noontime. And we'll be here at lunchtime, but we're going to be pushing that mid to upper 80s realm. It'll be closer to 90 degrees there into Pocatello, but normally this time of year would be around 84 degrees. So we're above that. We're going to fall below it as we head into the rest of this week with some cooler air and some more of that monsoonal moisture and cloud cover. So today will be another bright day around here. We got that back to school sunshine because that way all of us are bright students. It will be warm and above average with 80s. Uh, well, 80s to the lower 90s. We'll put it that way into the lower valley. It's 54 degrees this morning in Pocatello as they begin the second day classes at ISU. You look at that gorgeous sunrise over Idaho Falls. This is what we live for right here. Ah, yep, all is good in the world right now. It's when other people show up that it gets difficult. Uh, it's 54 degrees and I in Idaho Falls. Everything's calm here in the morning. It's just when other people show up and they don't realize that we've been going since 2 a.m. You know how that works. You've been working all night and it's the end of the day and everybody shows up. They all perky and stuff. It's like, man, it's 5 o'clock in the afternoon for me. Uh, we've got bright skies into Jackson and Henry's Lake this morning into Pocatello. I can't wait to show some of your summer vacation pictures and those back to school pictures too. Please send us those first day of pictures. Uh, the kids getting all dooted up and dooted ed up and showing out going back to see their friends. 52 in Driggs, 47 in Jackson, 37 in West Yellowstone, 56 in Blackfoot and about 54 degrees in Pocatello to begin with. So we're starting with the 50s. We're going to edge toward the 90s. Look at those rows of clouds. It's like rows of potatoes up there. It's going to be warming up into the upper 80s by the time we get into 4 o'clock. So the kids get out of school and go to the pool this afternoon. I don't think there's a threat of a shower or storm. Not until we get into tomorrow. The winds out of the north mainly uh, and that will deter some of that smoke in our area. But it's going to be clear around here for the most part. That last little system pushes off. We see clear conditions taking all that rain to the train station and we'll start to see uh, some burn and sunshine this afternoon about six to 12 minutes on the burn especially from the upper valley into American Falls along the river and we get a little bit of a break on some of that heat as you head over toward the eastern highlands in western Wyoming. The Viper cast reveals the convection begins tomorrow as we start to into the afternoon with more showers and storms. There'll be a little light cloudiness around here. The push from the south and the west jacks everything up for us again tomorrow four o'clock. We start to see wraparound showers some good winds into the valley 20 30 miles an hour and we'll see those temperatures edge down more toward normal seasonal conditions around 84 degrees. It'll be 89 in McCammon today, 88 in Preston at Tina's house, 78 at Jackson, 77 at Old Faithful and we'll be right there around 80 for the other parks, 85 for Dubois, 88 in St. Anthony. 90 degrees in Rexburg and about 82 in the Mackey, 84 Arco and warmer into the upper central mountains with some haze and pairs of eights there for chalice and salmon into the I-15 corridor, the uh, site and down around AF. We range from 85 to 91 degrees for most of us and still the cool 50s overnight, which is above average for this time of the year for overnight lows as well. Here's your local news eight day extended forecast and make sure you download the weather app so we can start chasing those storms again tomorrow with you. It'll be 89 consistently and then we drop the temperatures with that cloud cover and that push of some cooler air to upset the atmosphere. So it becomes a little more unsettled tomorrow. We get a day off today. It'll be 87 in Rexburg and then we'll still be in the 50s overnight in salmon above the smoke. It will be in the upper 80s and one in three storm chances for Wednesday and Thursday. We're still not messing around with summer storms. We'll have them in the forecast for Wednesday, Thursday, Friday for Jackson Hole. It'll be around 82 for the afternoon, 40s at night. So find someone to cuddle with. Pocatello hot 91 today and dry one in three storm chances with some of that monsoonal moisture and some of those wispy clouds this morning. Those cotton balls 88 in Idaho Falls. It'll be 90 with a 30% chance of storms upping that with more unsettled weather for Thursday. We'll have more for you coming up on the news at six. Today's Pledge of Allegiance is proudly presented to you by Wackerly Subaru in Idaho Falls.